which are, as we call it, a neighborhood work club. Uh, so we're opening up what I call just sort of this blend of coffee shop, uh, hotel lobby, and library tucked deep into residential neighborhoods, open 24-7. Welcome back to Brew Talks. I'm Steve Stroud. I'm the president and CEO of Roswell Inc. We're the economic development organization for the city of Roswell. We are remote today and very excited. Ashley. Yeah, we're here at Switchyards today. I'm Ashley Allen, director of operations for Roswell Inc. And we have with us um, Brandon Hinman, the direct creative director for Switchyards. Um, thanks for joining us, Brandon. Happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So. We're in a really cool space. So cool that we had to come off site for the first time ever. First time. Um, tell us where we are, a little bit about um, this space, and then about the story of Switchyards. That's, that's all I have to say. That's it. That's <laughs> all you got to say. <laughs> okay. Um, we are at our uh, new and up, up and coming work club. Uh, Switchyards, we call it a neighborhood work club. Uh, so we're opening up what I call just sort of this blend of coffee shop, uh, hotel lobby, and library tucked deep into residential neighborhoods, open 24-7. Uh, folks join with a membership, a little bit like you would a gym. And when you need to get out of the house and mix it up, you come here. This is our 11th in Atlanta. Wow. And will be our 17th overall. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, that's that's a lot of chairs. And in kind a of a of short amount of time, right? Like, when did you guys um, open the first club? Yeah, so we opened the first proper neighborhood work club in 2019. Wow. In Inman Park. Uh, we had a location and still do. Uh, we have a, a building in downtown Atlanta. So downtown Atlanta, Inman Park, and then West Midtown. And we were rocking and rolling for six months uh, right out of 2019 and then had to close for COVID. So we were closed for 14 months, completely uh, shut down and just sort of batting the hatches and waited that out. And uh, we knew that if we could get to the other end, there would be a lot more people working from home and working remote and hybrid, and that's proven to be the case. Yeah, and so if my math is right, in three years, you've opened the majority, like all but your first location have just been in the last three years. Yeah. That's yeah. outstanding, with more on the way, right? Correct. Absolutely. Wonderful. Yeah. So, and, and you're in what did I hear? You're in Nashville and Nashville, Charlotte, Charlotte and have just announced Asheville, North Carolina. Oh, that's fantastic. So four in Nashville that opened in the last uh, in less than a year. Uh, two in Charlotte that we opened earlier this year, and then uh, we'll open Asheville next month. Well, Exciting. The, the cool thing is we're, we're over at 1237 Strickland Road, which most people are going to go, where is that? And it's right off Alpharetta Highway, like he said, tucked in an old industrial area. Uh, look it up, 1237 Strickland. And the cool thing is, is each one of these have a personality that's unique to the building, to the environment around it. It's just, I can't say anything but cool. It is really cool. Yeah, so we, we uh, first of all, we love buildings, and we love neighborhoods, and we love uh, the stories and the histories and all the context. And so our design team and brand team takes all of those details into consideration when going into a new space. For this one, and I could rattle through all of, the diff <laughs> all of our different babies and how they're unique. They range from an old church to a, to a garage to a former office and everything in between. Uh, but this one, uh, the design team got really inspired by um, sign painting and automotive. And so uh, I understand that yep. uh, there's a big automotive history in Roswell. Yes, there is. Um, and so uh, what that does is it gives them some guardrails, but also inspiration sure. mm -hmm. to then uh, sort of pick things to bring into the space, whether it's furniture or art or decor, and then also sometimes what we actually will make. Um, we have a full-time carpenter on staff. 
And so some, usually for each space, we try to dream up a couple of sort of fun wild card pieces that will include unique, unique and, um, uh, and a lot of that's inspired not only by the building, but also by the work that had been done in the building before us. Um, I first walked into this space and it felt like a place where you would get a sign made or repaired, an old neon sign, or maybe pinstriping on your car. It just had so that, cool. that feeling to me. Um, and so the design team, they, they did a great job on this and we have a, uh, a team that uh, buys for us and installs and pulls it all together. So it was really amazing. Excited. And this is the first uh, switch yard outside well, I'll call it OTP, outside the perimeter, yeah. right? Yeah. So this is a big adventure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We have to really plan our days to, to come up here. Um, <laughs> Pack your lunch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. We're, we're, I think we're halfway to Nashville. I uh, know. Well, <laughs> well don't, don't pack too much because we got plenty of great restaurants. I, I right. hear. Very I, close. I hear. Um, I know one of the team's favorites is uh, Fellows Cafe, which yes. they've mm-hmm. been able to go to. They're and, awesome. They tell me they found some good Mexican as well. Yes, they have. Um, yeah, our first outside the perimeter. So our 11th in Metro Atlanta. Uh, all the other 10 have been inside the perimeter. Um, and so this is uh, exciting for us because there's a lot of good things going here. A lot of work, a lot of companies, a lot of startups, a lot of people working remotely. Um, and it was just sort of a matter of time until we, we, we came here, I think. That's fantastic. Very cool. So talk to us a little bit, why Roswell? I mean, of all places, like, it is one of the coolest places because we're here in Roswell, but <laughs> we know that and we say that, but what, yeah. what brought you to Roswell? Well, I mean, I think there are some obvious demographic um, draws. Um, like I said, uh, folks that are entrepreneurs and freelancers and working from home and hybrid work. Uh, that's all like for us, table stakes demographics. Yep. You got to go into a place that has people, you know, not everyone run into an office every day. Sure. Um, so that's there. But I also think that uh, we like to go into communities that have a lot of pride and a strong sense of place and, um, and would celebrate and uh, embrace something like a neighborhood work club. Um, our approach is that we don't typically typically go into central business districts. We don't typically go right. into sort of the obvious retail plays. And so we usually do these deeper cuts in terms of where we are, but always we're trying to get close to where people actually live. And so that depends on support from people who mm-hmm. live there. That's right. And so we really got to hit a nerve and, and get it right in terms of the location and the approach and, and our price point, which I'm really proud of, only being 100 bucks a month. Um, so uh, Roswell has all of that, you know, the hustle that people do in the work, but also that strong pride. Sure. Well, you know, for me personally, I'm a golf cart away. I mean, it's like <laughs> I am very close. So okay. you might see my golf cart pull in, um, but you're in a great spot where Alpharetta Highway is 200 yards away, but yet you're connected to all, you know, all these side road arteries that will bring people here, which is really cool. Yeah. yeah and right by downtown where a lot of people spend their days working from our coffee shops anyways, which continue to go to those coffee shops, please. But Absolutely. how many times do we go down to one of the coffee shops on Can Street and there literally is nowhere to work? Mm-hmm. And this kind of assures you that you'll always have a place, still yeah. take a meeting, run over yeah. to Crazy Love, go to Fellows for lunch, but Absolutely. you can always come here yeah. um, and find a space. And I think that that's a need that the community so unique. needs. Um, and clearly you mentioned that Roswell has a really strong sense of place. I think it's rooted in just being really proud of the historical aesthetic of the community mm-hmm. and that kind of more small town feel. And you guys are 
good placemakers. <laughs> it feels like we're neighborhood. just in the neighborhood. Um, I think that when people come here, they're going to find there's a lot of little Easter eggs all mm-hmm. throughout yeah, um, that they'll right. find that will connect Treasures. them. Um, to this space. So that's really, really unique. Yeah. Um, so uh, 24 hours a day, that yeah. was, that blew me away too. That's a lot of hours. That's a lot of hours. <laughs> <laughs> and free coffee. Nonstop. Nonstop, unlimited coffee. You can't beat the deal for a hundred bucks, right? You can't. It's, uh, we're just amazed. I think it's I gonna... do. It, it, Coffee is addictive. Careful, you know. <laughs> careful what uh, you ask for. Work and productivity and focus <laughs> and that, that sense of accomplishment, also addictive. So, yeah. you know, swim at your own risk. That's right. So tell us about the process. This is Friday. You're opening on August 28th, but Monday's a pre... Tell us, tell us the process. Yeah, so the biggest date to keep in mind is when we drop memberships. Got it. And that's Tuesday morning, August 20th. Coming up. So there's a lot of folks who have gotten on this early access list. That's essentially, um, we send out a live link to grab a membership before it goes out to the general public one hour later. Wow. It's a little bit like a concert ticket drop in that way. Sure. And all you got to do is just get on that list and say, hey, I want to know an hour before everyone else does. Uh, We also have uh, the first 50 memberships we offer at 50 bucks a month for the first year. Wow. So it's our 50 for 50 that we love to bring. And that that usually that usually gets uh, some alarm Uh, clocks set and people getting up. Um, So that's the 20th. So that's coming up. But. The night before, we're going to do a sneak peek preview party. So that's the chance to come in and actually see it. Check we're it going out. to have cold beer from Variant down oh, the road. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, Fellows Cafe is bringing the wine. And it's really just a chance to see the club uh, before memberships drop mm-hmm. and before it goes to, you know, work a day members only where the front door's locked. Um, I can't think for me, I love buildings. So anytime I get to go into an old building, that's right. been, check it out. Yeah. Check it out. Go, go, go act like you own the place for an evening. <laughs> uh, but we anticipate having uh, a bunch of prospective members, but also some partners who sure. worked with us. Um, and some of our team will be there as well. Well, we're excited about that. I mean, it's, I think, and what your team has told me is that you sell out day of, right? So memberships are sold out. How many memberships? 250 for this. 250 yeah. for this location. Yeah. Wow. So, That's exciting. Yeah, we have uh, some of our clubs are on a wait list. Uh, we do ask members to indicate, even though you can have access to all the locations. So when you join as a Switch Arts member. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, being able to open this door gets to open every door mm-hmm. that we have. But we ask members to uh, select a home club. Gotcha. And so folks in Roswell will join Roswell as their home club. But when they're in Nashville or down in Buckhead or Old Fourth Ward, they'll be able to pop in and go as if they were here. That's That's awesome. Well, as if if those features and the $100 a month didn't already get people, (laughs) because all of that sounds fantastic. When you say work club, I think this isn't a model that we... Have have seen. seen no um, people are probably thinking more co-working space so mm-hmm. what are some of those mm-hmm. distinctive differences and then what are some of the other um, amenities that you guys offer here mm-hmm. yeah historically co-working has been more of an enterprise product right typically geared more towards uh, companies and small teams um, that's reflected most obviously in the price point so co-working tends to be a little bit more like a second rent. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and we really were indexing more on that subscription membership rate. We want to feel more like a gym membership, frankly. Yeah. And um, we sometimes call Switchers a gym for the mind. That's, that's one of our <laughs> fun. That's, I like that's that. one of our, uh, you know, like go work out and then go, well, work out here too. Yeah. <laughs> um, or work out of here. Uh, so those are... So price point um, being more focused on the individual consumers, we're really excited that people are joining by themselves 
and spending their hard-earned money and saying, I want to be part of this thing. Um, also, we don't have folks who come and this is not a place to work out of every day. It's meant to be, on average, one to two times a week. Gotcha. Really come in, uh, focus, maybe take a client meeting, maybe do some heads down work in one of our libraries, maybe just like put on a nice set of clothes that you feel good about and switch it up out of the yeah, house. Get away yeah. from yeah. your yeah. home house. office. Yeah. For I don't a day. know about you, but I need to get a little bit of blood flowing. And I, I like, I like yeah. to move. See other people. See other people. <laughs> That's right. And we, we love that. I, I, I'm really proud of the price point we got. Yeah. Um, and, and the, the always open nature of it. I feel like it, it, I mean, that obviously works for everyone's schedule. Um, but I feel like it's something that people can add as this thing to their, this yeah. sort of the way work is changing mm -hmm. for so many to people. To just improve quality of life right. for just Roswell. To improve. Yeah. Um, and we have, uh, a lot of our members are finding it to be a, a substantial game changer for them. Others are just want to be a part of it. They, they, I mean, they say, hey, if something like this comes to my neck of the woods, I'm going to support it Yeah, because it's good mm -hmm. and I want it to be there. Uh, you mentioned coffee shops earlier. I, I have to say I am a big fan of coffee shops and um, a lot of our team sort of grew up working out of coffee shops yeah. and that's uh, part of the DNA of what inspired us to do this. Um, we still like going to coffee shops and I still work. I still work out of a coffee shop sometimes when I need a break from being in a switch yards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I need a break from being in a switch yards because you know, you, you mix you, it up, you mix it up. You yeah. need to mix it up. <laughs> um, but, uh, we, we are also finding that, that, uh, folks are continuing to support coffee shops, work out of coffee shops. Our members are doing this. It's just that we have doubled down on some of those details that, uh, that are for work, yeah. whether it's taking a meeting, whether it's just having that predictable place to sit for two hours of, I really have to have this done. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. um, I actually use the switch yards, uh, when I'm, I have an office, um, our team has an office in downtown Atlanta, but uh, there's a couple of switch yards that I go to near my house, usually when I'm on a writing deadline. There you go. Or mm -hmm. I have to have something submitted by X time. And there's one club that I use religiously, and it's our Cabbage Town Club. Oh, wow. It has a really large back library. And I'll go back there and it's full of people who are heads down, no talking, no calls, no Zoom. It's library rules. And I know I can count on it. That's great. Yeah, a good space to focus in. Yeah. So. This is phenomenal. Well, we're excited. We welcome you to the community. We think this is just a, a, an added bonus for the city of Roswell. And we're excited for Monday night. Absolutely. So we'll be here with bells on. I'll be there. Checking it out. <laughs> and what we want to say is welcome and congratulations. Thank you. This is an awesome step. And we're glad that Roswell was the first OTP first switch one. yards. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great thing. No turning so, back. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for having me you on. You bet. Cheers, yeah, cheers.